all right everyone welcome back to another use case video and in this video we'll talk about the third use case on record triggered flows right so quickly let's take a look at the problem the question says if case stays on the in progress stage for more than three days auto escalate the case by marking the priority to urgent so if a case is created and three days later it still is in progress and nothing has been done on the case will automatically mark the priority of the case to urgent right and then we have a challenge that says assign the case to the case reps manager whoever the case is assigned to it should be reassigned to the representatives manager if the case is escalated meaning whenever the priority is set to urgent we need to update the owner of the case from the current owner to the owner's manager right that's the challenge now what we have done as of now on record triggered flows is we have written an automation that runs any time an update happens or probably something triggers in the database right now in this case what is the object that we need to work on yes it is the case object right do you have a field that you need to track yes you have the stage or the status field right if it is in progress only then you need to trigger your flow but the catch here is that it needs to trigger after three days which means you need to delay your actions three days later now how do you do that can you do that via flows yes you can how do you do that we'll take a look at it in a while so what i'll do is i'll create my third use case read rt flows 3 and we'll try to solve this use case in the third one right this does not need any screen inputs so this will be a record triggered flow and i'll just say create okay now what we have been doing as of now is we have been setting the object which is the case object right now and i'll simply say whenever the record is updated and my conditions i can just leave the conditions to empty i want to run it for all the case records right and i want to run it three days later so if i click on the save button let's save this flows update case priority if unactioned for three days right this is the use case let's click on the save button right there's nothing connected here that is fine Let, we'll just get rid of this now if you take a take a look at the start node what we normally do is we start creating our nodes here right we say create record or we say update record or we say get record or we say do an action right whatever we do we do it here but this time i want to do something three days later now you notice this section that says run immediately this is what triggers the flow and runs the code or whatever snippet you have put here it will be run immediately but if you want to delay something right you can choose this option that's called add scheduled paths okay it's right here it's hidden you might not be able to see it very clearly but then yeah now you know it's here okay so whenever a case is updated i want to do some related records or actions and i want to add a scheduled path now as soon as i add a scheduled path you see one new node gets created in my flow and i can just give it a label saying three days later okay now i've just given this a label how do i tell the system to check it actually three days later so you get an option to select a time source okay so what we want to do is after the case is created and it is it has been on the in progress stage for three days i want to do something right so three days after the case is created would be my check right so i can say that the case created date and i can just say here three days after so how do you read this you read this as three days after the case is created i want to do whatever i mention here that's how you'll set it up okay so that's one path i've created can i create multiple paths yes i can say six days later i can do nine days later and what kind of options do i have i have months days hours and then even minutes so that's the kind of flex flexibility you get right sometimes you might want to run something five minutes later uh integration has happened right you might you might want to run something five minutes later M might want to run something 24 hours before right might want to run something 30 days later right might want to run something 12 months after and then you have all the time source which are available on the object fields so you can for case example you have the created date due date reported date updated close date all of the options are available so depends on your use case all right i'll just delete this path and i'll just keep these two and i'll say save here 
all right so i've just saved this and it cannot be activated because no nodes are assigned right that's the reason so now what i want to do here here is i don't want to run anything immediately correct i want to run something three days later now three days later what i want to do here is i want to check whether my case status is still in progress so what do I, how do i do that i just use the decision element because i want to check whether my record status is still in progress so i'll simply say check if status is in progress okay and i'll say yes it is now how do i check what is the global variable i have available it is the record variable that's correct right so i'll simply say the record dot status should be equal to in progress or whatever that field is let's say there's no in progress option available so let's just keep it as working okay let's use the working uh, status that's fine all right now if i say done here now understand how does this work whenever a case will be created a scheduled trigger will be set up for this flow and this will be scheduled for three days later when the case was created okay the system will come back to this flow three days later and it will check whether the case the case for which it initially got triggered is the status still in progress if it is it will come here if it is not it will take the default outcome right now what do we want to do if it is a if it is still in progress or maybe uh, currently working i want to update my case status priority to urgent so i'll simply say add a node here and i'll say update the triggering record okay what is the meaning of update triggering record it means that the current record which is currently in question i just want to update that record okay so i'll say update case priority to urgent now understand i have different options to do that how do i find the records to update and set their values it's it's saying use the case record that triggered the flow which means whatever record that triggered the flow for which you are currently in this node just use that same case record so i can simply say that the priority should be set to high right it's not urgent is not available you can just mention high okay what other options are available if you want to update something that's related to the case so you can choose records that are related to the case so what are the objects that are related to the case if you go to uh, record you'll see all the relationship fields showing up so here let's say i want to update the parent account so i can just simply choose the parent account id right or i can simply choose the parent account right and it will try to help me update that case okay if i have a specific record variable if I want to be able to identify which record variable or which record do I want to modify, I can choose that as well. So I can simply say specify the conditions to identify the record. So I'll say I want to update the case record, but which case should it be? It should be the one whose record ID is equal to the current records ID. That's it. And then I'll say that for this specific case that I've just put in question, set the priority as high. This is pretty much same as the first option. It's just that here you are specifying which record it is and the first option automatically picks the record in context. Okay, and then you have this third option which is basically nothing but the record variable option. Remember the record variable that we create and we make it available for input or output and whether we want to create a single record or multiple, that's the option there. Okay, so I'll just click on the save button here. Now that we have a node available and that runs three days later, I'll just activate this. But since we want to test it out, test it out, I also I'll what I'll do is I'll simply run this one minute after. Okay. Not three days after because we cannot be waiting here for three days. So I'll just say one minute after a case is created, if it is still in let's say working, it will just set the priority of the case to urgent just one minute later. Okay, let's test it out. So I'll simply say activate okay and now let's go to a case and let's create a new case right whenever we create a new case the flow will be triggered so i'll simply say new ah i think it should be triggered on create or update let's see what have i done i have just said that whenever a record is updated okay so then here i might need to check based on the updated date timestamp because the record that I'll update might have been created some time back, right? So I'll simply say it should run one minute after the case is updated. All right, that's how I'm putting it so that we can see this in action. So it's not letting me save it. So let's simply say whenever a record is updated, right? And then if I go in here, I'll simply use the last modified date. So the last modified date based on that one minute later, it should allow me. Let's now try to say save. This time it should allow. 
So it says check if status a scheduled path cannot contain a decision outcome outcome that executes only when the triggering record is updated. So here if I go in, I'll say if the conditions are met. Yeah. All right. We'll just revert it to the normal. Okay, let's activate it now. So what I've done essentially is I have simply said the system that whenever the record is updated, right, there are no entry conditions. So whenever any case is updated, okay, any case is updated, what I want to do is I want to check something three days later. What do I want to check? I want to check whether the status is equal to working or not. If it is still equal to working, I want to update that same case and I want to set the priority to high. Okay, and what was the catch here? Here I wanted to choose whenever the case is updated but if I choose that it prompts me to just select it only when it triggers the uh, requirements right so that's a that's how the flow is stopping you to activate it right so instead of when the case is updated I'm using a pretty similar approach but by using a specific field and I'll use the last modified field so whenever the case is updated the last modified date also gets updated right so I'll simply go ahead and choose this one okay let's say save save and then activate all right and now I can very happily go ahead and update a case so this is my case right and let's take a look at the case what is the priority the priority is medium okay and the status is escalated so let me just modify the status all right and let's just say I modify the status here and I say this is still working okay let's say I'm still working on it and this is a mechanical case I'll just say save and see the priority is medium all right let's just say save cool so we'll come back one minute later on this particular record and we'll see that the priority has been set to high automatically by our flow all right so it is scheduled to run one minute later okay meanwhile let's take a look at our screen and see what the use case says as part of the challenge so the challenge would be assign the case to the reps manager so now whenever the priority is set to urgent you also want to assign the case to the manager of the current owner okay currently whoever it is assigned to it should be the person's manager that is the person who should get the ownership now about the case okay that's what we'll do as part of the next challenge this is something i'd want you to try on your own so probably pause the video here and see if you can get this done yourself or else i'll just go ahead and uh, do it right away all right let's see if this got updated let's come back here this is still priorities medium I believe it will take probably another 15 20 seconds right so if you see now that the priority has been set to high all right so the priority has been set to high by the flow one minute after the case was updated right when the case was modified and it was still satisfying the criteria that we put on the decision node so this is how you can schedule your decisions okay this is how you can put scheduled items on your flows so that's another powerful tool that you get in your hand when you're using flows right so any kind of automation any kind of background task that you need to do sometime later sometime before maybe right Pro probably 15 days before the contract renewal send a notification to the customer right how would you do that would you write a code no you can do it via flows okay uh, five five minutes later five minutes after a new lead enters the system just send out a congratulatory email right just notify all the sales representatives that a new lead has entered in the system kindly take a look all of this can be done yes by flows using scheduled paths where are the scheduled paths they are right here this is where you can put a scheduled path okay and you can have multiple scheduled paths cool great now the other thing that you want to do is we also want to update the case owner so whenever we set the priority as high we also want to say that the pers person who's currently the owner of the case should be changed to a new person and this should be the owner the manager of the current owner right so in order ordered for us to be able to find who the manager is what we'll have to do is we'll have to take a look at the record right we'll have to take a look at the owner which is a user and here I can simply say the manager ID so you see how easy is it to get or reach the manager ID information of the owner just by typing or looking at the global variable that's currently in the context okay now I'll just set it to the manager ID and that should do it okay now 
one important thing to understand is I've done this directly to show you how a manager ID can be pulled and you can actually just do it by a single line of statement. But if you take a look at this particular case, right, you'll notice this is assigned to a queue, which is essentially not a person, which means that this will evaluate to null, meaning there is no manager to a queue. Correct. So you might want to add some checks here. You might want to put some decision notes. If a record owner ID, you, your owner ID's manager ID exists, only then go ahead and update the owner ID or else don't. Okay. So I'll leave that to you to put that check, to put a decision note here, somewhere here, and then take a decision to update the owner ID or not. Okay. What you can also do is you can create a formula and that formula can hold the manager ID. Okay, and if that formula contains the manager ID, you can choose to update the owner ID or you might choose not to update the owner ID. So you might have two different uh, nodes. Okay, you might have two different update records uh, nodes. One, if it is just the priority you want to update or the other one, if the priority along with the owner ID, provided the owner ID exists. All right, it's pretty straightforward, nothing fancy. And if you always will have a user, not a queue or a group assigned, I mean, not a queue assigned, you can always take a look at the context variable in hand. You can take a look at who the current owner is. And then you can also take a look at any relationship that you want to access on that particular record, which right now is the user record. And I'll just pull in the manager ID. And this essentially will update the owner to the manager of the uh, current owner. Current owner. All right, so that was use case three. I'd encourage you to take a look at this use case again. Just just uh, skim through it one more time. It will help you understand how schedule paths are conf uh, configured. What can you do with those fields that are available? What kind of date time stamps you can use in terms of the delay or you know um, um, something to do beforehand? And then also how to access any related information from the context variable. All right. So very quickly, we are actually learning a lot of things. And that's that's the best part about uh, these tutorials. And I hope uh, the tutorials are helping. Um, let's jump on to the next use case. I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye.